Right, I'm going to be trying to make my first furnace here. Um, I've got a out here is what I think I'll need. I think this is about all of it. Um, I might need other things, you know, as I progress, plus concrete and water. But this is what I'm going to try and use for my first attempt at a furnace. This bucket is going to comprise my kind of my outer shell. So I'll probably have this lying down, there'll be an opening at the front for you to put things in, get metal up to a few thousand degrees. Um, and these two here I'll combine and use as my, my inner. So they'll kind of fit in, they'll kind of fit in, and um, be a little way off the bottom, you know, yay high. And I'll fill around there with concrete, so I'll get a nice insulating barrier of concrete and sand. And um, yeah, I know this is all plastic, but I'll cut it off and out before I actually use it. Then here I've got some stainless steel tubing. It's not galvanized. And I think I'll use this for a flue, get some air in. And I'll have to grind that down so that I can put it through the bucket and into this inner chamber to get a kind of a vortex going, get some oxygen in. Now I've got this piece of steel here, which I think I'll use for a door, so I'll have it kind of here and I'll be able to open it. I'll fill it inside with concrete, and this cardboard will just be used for um, creating a kind of moulding for the concrete and the cement. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the top out of here, so that when I fit them together, and put tape around for use in the mould, they're all flush. So I'm going to cut the top part out of here, and I'm going to cut the top part out of here also. That looks okay. The final piece will be sitting somewhat like this. Butchered my way through that, I might just you know, file it off. Maybe even some pliers. Ah, oh, look, they're doing a the trick. So, this is just flattening out those shards. Not too bothered about cutting them all off neatly because this should, this will probably eventually come out of the mold in the end. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it would just melt as soon as I started up my first long burn. That'll work for what I'm doing. It'll be alright. But the end it will really join up like that. Put a couple more layers on just for strength when I pour the concrete in around. Also, I remembered it's probably best that I put a um, cover on here so that when I put it down on top of the concrete in the base, it doesn't sink in. Um, so I'm going to put a, a uh, cardboard cover over here and just hope that the cardboard doesn't disintegrate. So I'll just put this on here with some tape so that it sits like that.
which uh, I might just uh, put some tape across here to waterproof the cardboard a little bit against the concrete. Just because I don't want to have to re redo the entire mold. There we go. I hope that's going to work. It's the inner of the furnace. The next thing to do is to fit this flue. So the, there's a vortex on the inside of the bucket. I want to be able to have the furnace both on its side and sitting up. And for that reason, I'm not going to put the pipe at this kind of an angle. Because if I do, when I put it up, coals are going to come down into my source of air. And I, uh, I don't want that. So I'm going to mount it like this. And hopefully that will create enough of airflow in this bell. So, that's look, that looks like it just might be the right diameter. So that's the kind of angle of attack I'll have it coming in on. So this should be how it's set up. And I'll put this in the bucket. neaten this out and that won't work too bad but it'll be just fine. What I'll do now is cut the hole for this pipe through the larger bucket. So I've got my two pouring sets set up to pour concrete, um, but it's dark. So now that we've got some light out here and um, I've actually got some cement now, uh, some concrete, sorry, I'll be able to do the mixing and the pouring. But for this I've got my moulds here and I'll also use this sand, use this uh, mix it with cement and maybe some hydrated lime just to get a good bond. Um, and I think I'm going to try and use as much sand as possible just so that I can uh, get kind of the best insulating properties out of this outer layer here. So I've now got my three components. I've got concrete, hydrated lime, and sand, and a ratio of 1, 1, 6. So now I have all three pieces, uh, well, these two, I have the door drying, as well as the furnace itself, which turned out pretty well, I must say. Um, so this is just drying off now. I'll probably leave it overnight for a few hours, etc. Uh, the same, same with this one. When this is dry, I'll drill through and I'll mount this using some big, big hinges that I might have to weld up. And that way I can have it as a door on the top of here. And I'll probably have to grind this down or pull it out either way to get it to fit flush. Finally, I uh, had some concrete left over so I had to go at shaping kind of a base for this to sit on. Um, so hopefully when this is dry I'll be able to put it up on some bricks and put this base down and then rest this on there. I'm thinking of using um, plaster or something to put in under this gap to seal this. So putting a layer of plaster on or clay. I'm not exactly sure what yet but I might do that instead of grinding this down.